Hi guys, this is Icemane. Today we're going to be discussing the recent buzz going around the gaming community, which is will Halo Infinite have a Battle Royale? For months now, it has been lightly speculated whether 343 will include one within Infinite, with them even shutting that down in interviews at the end of last year. But this week it really picked up steam, and the reason is several big content creators fired off a series of tweets causing quite a polarizing conversation. It all started with Jack Courage Dunlop, who streams on YouTube as part of the 100 Thieves organization stated it would be a grave mistake for 343 Industries to not release some sort of battle royale mode with Halo Infinite. Dunlop said that Halo is his favorite video game series of all time and as such he clearly wants to see it in a good place. Now, this did cause quite a stir. A lot of people, including esports commentator Alex Golden Boy Mendez, questioned whether or not it's really needed to make the game a success. Now, Alex said it could also just be a good multiplayer game too, right? I feel that that's a bit higher on my list than a BR. Like, sure, make a BR, but if the game ain't good, then it doesn't matter if it has a BR or not. I completely agree with this statement. I want them to fix the core gameplay. I want that to be up to par and the campaign to be on point. The rest will fall into place. The game won't be successful if they don't fix the problems that everyone had with Halo 5. Courage goes on to reply that being Halo, he already expects great multiplayer to come with Infinite. However, he wants to see a fleshed out BR because it will bring Halo a brand new audience. And that's what the franchise needs on top of the already existing player base. I completely sympathise with this point of view also, because Halo is dying. As much as I hate to admit that, it is. It's not the game it once was that used to run the gaming uh, or shooting market, should I say. Now, Call of Duty has taken over the entire gaming world with Warzone, thanks to the predecessors in Fortnite and uh, PUBG. They're still successful, but Warzone has just taken it to another level. Now, there needs to be some sort of competitor in the gaming market to take away from Warzone. Now, I do think they've had a serious amount of issues, and a lot of players are looking elsewhere for the next big thing. They do still love Warzone, but it is the best one available. And I think if Halo can nail an absolutely brilliant Battle Royale, it will draw a lot of people in. Battle Royales like Warzone, Apex Legends and Fortnite are still very much in the limelight and featured prominently as the most played games on most streaming sites such as Twitch and YouTube. But for every successful Battle Royale, it seems there are multiple examples of games that have tried to do the genre and failed. You've got Firestorm, Hyperscape, Spellbreak, The Culling 2 and Realm Royale are just a few of the free-for-all style games that came out with plenty of potential and hype only to seemingly be forgotten by the general gaming public a short while later. Even Bomberman and Pac-Man have dropped into the fray. The reason a lot of people fought back against Courage and this whole Halo having a battle royale is because 343 writer Jeff Easterling last year, known in the Halo community as Grim Brother One, stated on stream, I'll tell you right now, the only BR we're interested in is Battle Rifle, the original BR, so calm yourself. Take from that what you will, but then another negative towards the Battle Royale argument is Leaker Clobril, again, take it with a pinch of salt, claiming to know details surrounding the release. He claims that there won't be a Battle Royale mode in 343's upcoming game, but will be replaced with Big Team Battle 2.0, which should feature vehicles, squad spawning, pelican drops, and more. Basically, Big Team Battle on steroids. Additionally, he went on to say the Forge mode will be massively expanded upon, even to the point where if players wanted a Battle Royale mode, they could simply create it in Forge. That's a huge expansion on the Forge mode that we know from Halo 5. My personal opinion, I would like them to try something new. Uh, I know they mixed up the franchise with Halo 4 and Halo 5 and it didn't go down too well, but I think a Battle Royale, you have a lot more to go off. You know what people like. You can use Warzone, Apex, Fortnite, PUBG as barometers as to what works and what doesn't. I think Halo has the lore, it has the gameplay, it just has everything that could make a successful recipe for a successful Battle Royale. I would personally enjoy dropping in from an ODSD pod or even jumping out the back of a Pelican-like Warzone. I think it has a lot of elements that would get fans excited. 
Fortunately, we shouldn't have to wait a whole lot longer to find out what the answer will be. The game is slated to release later this fall on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. 343 has already been sharing a ton of new details monthly, which I've been covering in my previous videos and will continue to do so. So as we continue to approach the game's formal launch, a ton of new information will begin to emerge in the coming months. So what do you guys think? Do you want to see Halo Infinite add a Battle Royale mode to its multiplayer or would you rather see 343 focus on other aspects of the game? Let me know in the comments below. That's all today guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit them like and subscribe buttons and as always, stay frosty.